All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So I'm sitting in my office and it's been a while for me to take out this video because I wanted to go in a different direction than just sitting here and introducing house bills or house resolutions or Senate bills or whatever. Uh, what the state of Virginia, the Commonwealth of Virginia, has done since they took over both House and Senate as well as the gubernatorial office is they've introduced some ungodly amount of unconstitutional gun control bills and i'll be honest with you it's absolutely frightening and i feel like the commonwealth of virginia because of what's happening and what they're doing now they are setting a precedent for things to come it, it is in my opinion now leave your comments down below and watch this whole video because we're going to get into it deep here in a few seconds but it's of my opinion that the commonwealth of virginia is going to be the well the founding of the first shit hits the fan scenario. Why do I say this? Well, if you see by this map right here, and this is a map that came out, I think by Reddit or somebody like that, uh, mapchart.net, these counties that are in green right here are now officially called 2A sanctuary counties. And this is where the county population came and voted, and they are going after it hard. Now, the counties in orange are pending a hearing to vote, discussion, and or meeting. And that's, that's huge. That's a strong showing of the people who value our rights as they are written into our Bill of Rights in our Constitution. Not as something that's being interpreted, not something where we're in control now, and we're going to tell you what to do, and there's nothing you can do about it because we're in control, and yada, yada, yada. Of course, there's a couple of counties up here in the Northeast, and, and you know, you do have like uh, Roanoke right there. You've got a couple other counties in the middle. Uh, so, how did this all happen? It goes back to our election and the amount of money that Mike Bloomberg piled into these areas that were kind of teeter tottering back and forth between a couple of votes swinging Democrat and a couple of votes swinging Republican. He changed it enough by the influx of money, the advertising, that they came out on top. Now, it's interesting because if you've ever heard of this, this thing called Hunger Games, this movie, where like the capital city or this these other counties or states, they controlled the vast majority of the other counties with their wealth and their population. Where, in fact, what ends up happening is that these other counties or states end up supporting the welfare of the population of these Democrat counties. And that's the scary part. And when I show you this next map, and it's the reason why I've studied. I mean, we can sit here and talk about all the bills and everything they've got going. But what I want to do is show you the reasons why it's scary. Watch this. This is from the Virginia pilot, and this is the Commonwealth of Virginia. All the red is Republican. Look at that. The blue counties, or the blue districts, are Democrats. And where are they? Look at this. I, I, I can actually zoom in on this thing. Look at this. So here is like a Republican district. Oh, that one's in progress. This guy right here, Michael J. Wibbert. He's a Republican. He has this huge area. But look at this disgusting thing we have up here. These are all Democrats. Every little district right here. Wow, look at all that. Is that not just crazy? That this little area, based on population, is run by Democrats. And then you have the rest of the Commonwealth. Look at this little area right here. You get this big area right here that has one representative. He's a Republican. Yet then on this little area right here, you have, what, 10 people who are all Democrats? You get my drift when I start talking about the Hunger Games and what's going on in our country? This is the evolution of Shit Hits the Fan. Now, I was listening to, I can't remember the name of the channel, What's Going to Happen When There Is a Civil War? All these counties right here provide for these little areas right here, the massive amounts of population. 
All these people out here, they can survive on their own. But the difference is, is these people here cannot survive without these folks here. Yet these people, based on the population, can tell the rest of this area, the entire Commonwealth, what to do. This is why we have in our country the <laughs> congrats. Uh, what do you? Oh my God, the uh, electoral college vote, so that this cannot control the rest of this. And when states are sitting there saying that we should get rid of the electoral college vote, I say we should implement it in the states. Just my two cents. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I give, I've given this a lot of thought, and it angers me because I have, I touch Virginia on a weekly basis. I drive through it when they're talking about assault weapons or so-called assault weapons ban, magazine ban, silencers, suppressors, everything and anything under the sun that they can think of. Just, it's disgusting. If y'all want me to talk about individual bills, list them down below and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. But this is disgusting and it's best that this group of people, they know what's best for the rest of the individuals. Those good, God-fearing, Bible-hugging, shotgun-toting deer hunters all across here. Tell you what, Richmond, Fairfax, who else? Y'all better watch out because if you know what's good for you, you need to vote with good common sense on what's good for the state, not just what's good for your little itty bitty area. It's Code of War 32. You let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free because, guys, this is where it's getting ready to go down. And I am so proud of those counties who are coming out with their Second Amendment sanctuaries. We can all play the game. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out. Y'all be good.